Sometimes your scene just feels a little static, rigid, stiff. The camera feels like it's being controlled by a robot. Oh my god, he was right. Robots are taking over. Let's fix that. When using screen follow, the camera is fixed on an object and the object stays perfectly still relative to the screen no matter how fast you are moving. It looks kind of weird. Maybe you would want that in your project, but let's add some sense of realism to the game by dampening the screen movement to make it feel a little bit more natural. It's pretty easy actually. Bye bye, we won't be needing you anymore. Every frame, the game gets the position of the screen and player. Hyperpad runs at 60 frames per second, which is why I divided 1 by 60. The player's X and Y position are subtracted by the screen's X and Y position respectively. The resulting values denotes how far the player is from the center of the screen. So if I plug those values into the move screen behavior right now, it will act the same way as the screen follow behavior. Now, let's multiply these differences by a factor of less than 1. I will use 0.3 in this case. But feel free to experiment with this value. I will plug in the products from the multiply behaviors into the move screen behavior, and there we go. What this does is dampen the translation from the current screen position to the player, so it doesn't transition immediately to where it needs to be. The factor changes the rate of how much the screen moves. In this case, the screen travels 30% of the way for each frame. It takes time for the screen to move to the player, so we get this smooth screen movement that feels nice. Now the scene feels a little more natural, real, lifelike. Well, that's all for this tutorial. If you want to see more, follow our Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you later! later.